Hi, my name's Kent Gunn, and this trick is called Cutting the Aces. It's a good trick. You gotta learn it. It's in a book called Stars of Magic. Have you guys ever played cards for money? If you have, you've got to realize that the ability to control these four cards is a winning advantage in any game. Let's say you were playing poker late one night with some old, fat, retired Navy chief. I, uh, I'll be playing that part this evening. As I toy with the deck, everything looks pretty darned innocent. We can even go through here, and I think you can pretty clearly see that the aces are getting spread throughout the deck. I'm not gathering them all up at some evil little clutch of aces. But, even with that, the fact that um, you can check through here, certainly didn't keep any of the aces on top or on bottom. But still, with nary a, an evil dark crimp, we ought to be able to find at least one. But you guys should realize that that's not all that impossible set of odds. That's only 1 out of 13. 51 cards left, 3 aces, that's right, it's 1 out of 17. Myself, I've always thought that that looked best when done with the deck face up. And even if I get distracted and start thinking of sex, I'm not going to let that bother me. I will simply cut to a sex, use that number to count down. One, two, three, four, five as though I had perhaps planned this thing from the very beginning. That's Di Vernon's Cutting the Aces.